But that opportunity won't go on forever. Um, the, uh, the rate at which the climate is, is changing and warming, uh, unless we act on the Paris Agreement to restrict that, we're going to be in real trouble. Uh, so um, the, the problems that we recognize have to be grappled with and faced. Otherwise, if we just go on thinking everything's going to be fine, we are going to be heading for major catastrophes, and no doubt about that. Who has hope? Hands up. <laughs> you raised your hand, so I have hope too. And, and, and why? Because young people now understand these situations better than they have ever done in my lifetime. And young people today are saying to those of us who got hands on power, do something and we will support you. That's why I have hope. We, as an institution, and all the finance ministers and governors of central banks and executive directors who are in the room, they want to understand what we can do. How can we partner together, you know, public sector, policymakers, international institutions, private sector, and awakeners like you? You can invest your money uh, in uh, enterprise aspects of our uh, economies, which help and don't hinder. And that's a, that's a first step. So do no harm. Principle number one. Principle that do no harm, indeed. And understanding what harm is, is something we haven't done, you know. I mean, the reason we're in the mess that we are is that people simply didn't understand the harm that we were doing until it's too late. 